Guys, y'all, I did a thing. Now, it was a very expensive thing, but my excuse is that my birthday is in exactly a month. Today is currently November uh, 27th, 2022, and my birthday is December 27th, all right? So, we have one month until my birthday, and usually I'm very low-key during my birthday, and I've been wanting these certain pair of shoes for a while now, so I decided to just break down and get them. Um, but I have a, actually story time about that, y'all. So they, I got this little nice bag, and in this nice little bag are the Yeezy Foam Runners. Now it's interesting because the box, um, is very minimalist, which is like very Kanye. You know, like, I've, I'm a psychic, by the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer, and I've done quite a few readings on Kanye, so, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it says here, Yeezy Foam Runner Onyx 12, probably can't see it, Onyx is the color black, alright, so these are the color black, and you guys, I have a whole story, so, I actually originally, um, accidentally ordered these on StockX. I say accidentally because, like I said, I've been wanting these shoes for about maybe a year now, but I just could not justify the price. Um, and I was on stop the app StockX, Stock X, which is where they actually sell these shoes. Um, these shoes are very rare to find, which is part of why they're so expensive. Um, and I ordered them on StockX, and StockX has this whole authentication process because there's a lot of fakes of these out as well. Um, and it's so I paid for the shoes. I actually didn't mean to pay for the shoes. Um, I was actually just kind of testing out, like, you know, it, ha it said pay, like, they, they had, like, a pay with credit kind of thing. And I was like, oh, okay, let's see. Like, I just wanted to see, see what the process would go be like. And I ended up pressing the button child, and the payment went through. Oh, my gosh. So I was like, oh, my God, I didn't want to spend over $200 on a pair of shoes, but I pressed the button. And they're, they're being shipped already. What can I do? I want them. I want them. So it is what it is. So I was waiting for my my uh, uh, Yeezys to come, this same color, and then they failed the authentication process. So uh, luckily, what StockX does is when the shoes fail the authentication process process, which means they're fake. By the way, this this is my first time using StockX, so I really I liked. It won't be, it may not be my last because I did enjoy like the customer service of it all and things of that nature. So they, they informed me that I guess the shoes were fake um, that I ordered online and they refunded me my money. So I paid um, about $218 for the my original pairs of um, Yeezys that I got off of um, StockX, but I was refunded that money. Um, and I made that, I made that, uh, I paid for that on the 20th, so that was a week ago, and I got my refund, I think, today, or yet today. Um, so, I was like, I was gonna put the refund towards bills, but then I was like, I, I have two separate bank accounts, so I was like, you know, something's telling me it's my birthday, um, and I happened to be at the mall over the weekend, this weekend. This is this is where the story gets interesting and how we get here. So I got the uh, I was waiting for the refund to come and I was at the mall um, and up until this point I were not I did not know that Yeezys I I was under the impression that Yeezys were not sold in stores. So I was uh, walking around my mall. If you don't know, I live in Virginia. Um, I was walking around my mall and I was on my way out of the store. Um, I think this store was right near the Croc store. Which, by the way, if you're wondering. Which shoe I'm comparing this Yeezy to? I'm comparing them to Crocs right now. It's raining here in Virginia. And I'm wearing my Crocs. My classic little, um, I think these are, what are these? Platform Crocs. They're my favorite ones. So I bought these actually, I think, over the weekend. And I've been wearing them ever since. Well, until now. We'll see. Um, but I've been wearing them ever since because they're such good weather shoes, Crocs, or at least the platform ones. I also have, uh, actually some Croc boots. Don't sleep on Crocs. Crocs is, you know, they may not always be the best, most fashionable, but, but, you know, they, anyway. So 
so I was walking out of the Croc store, and I was walking past this store. I think it's called, like, Sneaker Freak or freak a leak whatever it is. And um, something just told me to go in because I, I, like, um, I, I had just had a client message me for a reading. I'll message them back. I was, I was kind of walking by. You know how, like, you're in the mall and you're just kind of looking around, looking at all the stores? I was walking by this, you know, Sneaker sneaker League, freak leak store, whatever it's called. Um, and I noticed that they had some interesting shoes in there. So, it's like, okay, let me go in here really quickly before I leave. Why not? I've never been in there before. And what do you, what do you guess I found? I found original Yeezy foam runners. They also, they, I think they had the whole Yeezy collection in this store. They had also had Yeezy sneakers. I noticed they had Yeezy slides. So the next thing I want to buy is Yeezy slides. Um, but I don't know. I'll probably have to wait till next month for that. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm very particular about spending too much money. It took me forever to buy these because I was like, they're so expensive. I won't tell you how much I paid for these. I will say I paid more than what I paid for originally on Stock X, unfortunately. But at least I have a pair of Yeezys in my hand. So today, um, after kind of once again... So a couple of days ago, I, I I went in that store and was like, oh my god, they've been they sell Yeezys here at the mall, like you know, 20 minutes away from me. So I sat on it and I was like, but do I really want to pay that price for them? And then I was like, but it's my birthday, you know. So I was like, you know what? I've got the money. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it for me, you know, um, because I like a nice comfortable pair of shoes. So I actually have not um. I have not worn these yet. I, I did try them on in the store. Um, and I tried them on with socks. I did not try them on without socks. But I've heard that it can feel weird without socks wearing these. I probably will still wear them without socks and with socks on. Don't judge me. Um, but I, I have not actually tried these on. And I have not actually opened this box. I literally just got back from the mall. Um, and I actually have my coffee somewhere around here. Because I went to Starbucks too. Kind of walked around and then I got hot and was like, I'm ready to go home. Oh, and then, you know, you know how they had the kiosks? Then, um, someone, oh my god, this is like, this is funny, but someone, like, one of the kiosk people was like, uh, you know, oh, you know, this person said they like your necklace. Where's your necklace from? And I was like, coach, because I had like a coach lanyard around my neck, because I like, I keep like a lanyard where I keep my wallet and my keys, like, you know, just cause, so they can all be in one place. So it's like, it's coach. And the guy kind of swooped in and was like, oh, you know, it's coach. Well, why don't you try our coach oil over here? I was like, oh my, are you serious? I wanted to tell him, are you serious right now? But I was in a good mood. I had just gotten my Yeezys, just purchased my Yeezys. So I was like, really? Anyways, so that was interesting. I don't know why I brought that up. Um... I talk a lot. I think I've had too much coffee and I've been up since 4 a.m. So, yes, that's my story of the Yeezys. Um, I have not worn these, so I'm excited to wear them with you all. I wanted to, this to be a, like an authentic unboxing video, you know, try on video and things of this nature. Like I said, I did try them on in the store, and based on what, like, when I tried them on in the store, what I can tell you is it's interesting because they, they're all foam. The sizing, first of all. So I, I originally, I, when I was in the store, I, origi I originally asked for a size 11. I have big, wide, flat feet. Get your mind out of the gutter, all right. Um, and shoes for me, especially since I'm a drag queen, so especially like women's shoes. Although there are some women's shoes every now and then that I can fit in. Um, but um, shoes for me, if they're not the right fit, can be so uncomfortable. And it's so interesting because I can fit a size 11 perfectly in one brand or one specific shoe in one brand. But then a size 11 in another brand or another, like, you know, um, make of a brand, like, does not fit me at all. Like, you know, it's, it's so interesting. So I typically, like, go between either a size 11 or 12. Anything below that's too small, usually, depending on the brand. Um, anything above that is too big, usually, depending on the brand. So, um, I wanted to try on an 11. The girl who was lovely, by the way, um, went back and she said they only had 12s and 9s. Well, I knew my big, flat, fat, or big, flat, fat feet, alright, <laughs> were not going to be able to fit in a, in a 9. So, I was like, okay, let's try the 12. So, these are size 12s. Um, I did try them on in the store and they fit fine. 
um, they do feel like a little bit loose, but then like I always do the test, you know, when you're, you're like kids or I don't know if like, I don't know this is my, I remember my, my mom and my parents doing this with me. Like you press your foot to the, to the back of the shoe and you kind of press, push up your, your, your big toe and you try to figure out where your big toe is. And if your big toe is like, if there's a lot of space in between your big toe and like the, the front, like the front of the shoe, that might mean it's too big. If there's little to no space where you can't move your, wiggle your big toe, it's too small. So, um, it kind of felt like my big toe, it, 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 there wasn't too much room. There wasn't like, like, it wasn't like too tight either, if that makes sense. Like it was kind of like a perfect fit. So I found that interesting. I was like, okay, size 12, um, I, it kind of makes me think like I want, I felt like, you know, size 11 might be too snug. Anyways, I feel like I've talked for 10 minutes and I have not shown you these freaking shoes. Oh, wow. You guys see this foam? So it's interesting. Everything is actually on the inside of the box. And these are what they look like. I'm making a thumbnail, hold on. I guess I should pull these up too. Uh oh. Okay, let's make a thumbnail. In the middle of the video, yes, this is what we do as, as YouTubers. Even the girl who's like in the store, she was like, oh, um, what did she say? She was like, I can, um, put them out. I can take them out of the box if you want to wear them out. And I was like, um, I kind of wanted to wear them out, but then I was like, you know what? Actually put them in the box because I have to do a video when I get home. I literally told her that. All right. These are the shoes. Let's get the tag out. Hopefully with the price not on there. Okay, the price isn't on there. That's good enough. No boob showing. All right. So, first impressions. Um, they are big. I like I said, I have big feet. Um, it's interesting. I was saying earlier when I put them on, they felt like a sneaker. Like when you put on Crocs, like the way the way Crocs are built. They don't feel like a sneaker. They feel like a, a mix between a sandal and like, I don't even know, like, I don't know, it's, it's we Crocs kind of have their own kind of thing going on. But these felt like sneakers. On the bottom, it's very, um, very kind of like foamy, rubbery, almost like bouncy, it feels like. Um, and there's like little, there's a little Adidas logo right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it, you can kind of see it. There's like a little Adidas logo right there. All right. Um, I'm trying to see what else. On the inside, it says Foam Runner 12 US. But other than that, I mean, it's just a shoe. There's nothing like. It doesn't say Kanye West. It doesn't say Yeezy. It just says Adidas. That's interesting. Um, it's all foam. All completely foam. And like I said, they're really comfortable, to be honest with you. Um, they feel different than Crocs, the actual foam itself. So I think, like, the foam, the foam is like a different, it's a different um, formula. All right. Um, actually, we can look at it. I think it might say here what kind of foam it is. Oh, no, it doesn't say what kind of foam it is. Sorry. Um, they feel super soft. I'm not going to lie to you all. Um, they feel super soft. They feel well made. You know how sometimes you get foam shoes and like... I'm trying to get this sticker off uh, the inside of it. There's like a little sticker on the bottom. I guess to explain its sizing as well, you know, again. Uh, let me show you guys the inside of the box as well. Hold on. Let's 
sure. I need to cut my nails, honey. But you know what? The foam is actually pretty, um, dur it's pretty durable. It seems, it's pretty thick. Like, this is good quality foam. Like, I'm not, ne I would not necessarily be worried. I mean, I'm, unless I'm playing in a field of, you know, syringes or something like that, or knives. I don't think I would be too worried about, like, you know, um, these ripping or, like, you know, getting punctured or anything like that. Like, they're not that, like thin you know it's 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 thicker than you would expect um i actually like the way they look they look like a mix between a slipper and a shoe like a slipper and a, um a sneaker when you actually put them on and i'll model them for you all but this is what they look like i just kind of want to show you all what they look like this is black and they were really expensive, but you know what? For me, they're worth it. I've been wanting these for a while. So, you know, it's the comfortability for me, all right? And the fact that I can wear these around the house and, you know, well, technically, you know, I don't know. I might get stairs if I wear them to, you know, to the, to the mall, you know, to the mall or out or something like that. I'll still wear them out though, don't worry. So this is what it looks like on the inside. All right, Foam Runner, Yeezy Foam Runner, made by Adidas. Okay, so that way you know it is official. Okay, um, and I'm really excited for these shoes because I am a, someone that, like, I work a lot. I actually have to text this client back. I work a lot, um, and I love to go to the movies. One of my favorite things to do is to go to the movies. I will go to the movies by myself in a hot minute, but I like going to the movies like late at night, and my favorite shoe wear to wear at the movies are my Crocs, because they're so comfortable, they're so low key, and when you're going to the movies at like late at night, like 9, 10, 11, you're, it's not a fashion show. Like you're not worried about, you just want to be comfortable, you want to kick, kick your feet up, maybe eat some popcorn, you know, drink your drinks, whatever it is, and enjoy a movie, right? So I think these these might end up replacing my Crocs as my like go-to movie shoes. I know it's really weird, but like that's like I don't know. That's just another thought that I had. Anyways, um, I actually was thinking about like like these. I wonder how these would fare in the gym. Um, I'm not gonna be able to see how I, that today because I went to the gym already. But let me go ahead and show you all what they look like, how they feel on my actual feet. Alright, so I've got the Crocs, or, oh my god, I've got the foam runners here, and I've got my, once again, my Crocs here for a comparison. They kind of almost look the same, to be honest with you. Um... This also gives you, like, a potential, like, the, there's my cat walking by. <laughs> This also gives you the opportunity to see what they look like in the light. Um, so let me go ahead and take my Crocs off. I kind of want to compare them. The Croc is definitely way bigger. All right. So I'm just going to kind of slip my foot in. So putting it on is a little bit more difficult than you would expect. Like it's not necessarily an easy, easy slip on shoe, but oh, look at the way it looks. Doesn't it look so like, people hate on the way this shoe looks. I don't get it though. Let me take this one out. I think it looks so cool. Oh, clearly I need to vacuum, don't judge me. I think this looks so cool. This is so comfortable, by the way, you guys. And to be honest with you, the sizing, I think I got the perfect size. I think maybe if I had gotten the size 11, I thought that was my client. Um, 
Oh my god, I feel like I need to <laughs> one vacuum right now. I feel like if I had gotten the size 11, they might have been t a little bit too small. Let's go ahead and put the other one on. They feel so good. They feel like a house slipper and a shoe. If you're someone who wears house slippers like I do, I have a rotation of, they're not really slippers by the way. I like Crocs are my house slippers. Slides are my house slippers. All right. I'll lift up my shoes so you guys can see. I'm wearing, like I said, I'm wearing um, socks with them. They're really comfortable, you guys. Um, the price, for the price I paid, to be honest, I wish I could have been able to pay a lower price. But, you know, if they last a long time, then it'll be well worth it. But just from the comfort alone, to be honest, I would say these shoes are worth it. They're worth the... They were worth me getting them. They were worth me getting them for myself as a Christmas present, or as a Christmas and birthday present, because I'm a Christmas baby. So, Kanye definitely may be going through things, but he knows how to make, you know, or at least collaborate on a really good, comfortable shoe. You guys. I am kind of obsessed with these. I can't wait to get my uh, Yeezy slides next. And they had a different, they had a couple different color colorways at the store I went to. But actually, ironically, these were like the one of the, I think these might have been the least expensive um, foam runner. Which I was surprised by because I would have thought like these would be the most expensive. But I don't know. Um, they, I think they had a red one. They definitely have the tan one as well, the ochre, I think. So I, I might get the ochre or something like that, save up for that. But I am totally happy with these. I'm going to be rocking these as much as I can. Um, probably will be rocking them as I take my cat for a walk, <laughs> as I run errands around the house. I might try them at the gym tomorrow, all right? Maybe we'll do an update in like a, a six months or so, or a couple, probably a, maybe a couple weeks. And we'll see how they're faring up, but... For me, these are awesome. They literally feel like a mix between a shoe, like a tennis shoe, or a regular shoe, and, and a, a, like a slipper. Um, it's like an elevated croc. Like, crocs just, I love, I, and I love crocs. I have like six pairs of crocs. Crocs, like, they just don't compare. The way these feel are so comfortable. And like I said, I went a size up. Technically, my like my true size is a size 11, but like my safe size is a size 12. I went with a 12, and I'm super happy. I went so I went a size up, and I'm happy. I feel like if I had gone with an 11, because let me show you, my foot comes up to like right here in a size. So my foot comes up to like. Can you see? My foot comes up to like right about here in a size um, 12. And my true size this is a size 11, like I said, so. They're not super tight. They feel comfortable. And I'm excited, you guys. I'm so happy with my purchase. Thank you, Yeezy. Thank you, Adidas. And I'm sad this collaboration is over for now, maybe. Hopefully, we'll get more colorways and more content more creativity from Yeezy and Adidas but you know these shoes a thumbs up for sure they get a thumbs up all right all right you guys love and light I'll see you guys in the next video shout out to Kanye for these Yeezys they are fire